Hello and welcome to another video from the Human Science. Today what I'm going to show you is how to compress your images uh, using GIMP. Now, for those of you who do not know what compression is, um, I want to tell you. Compression is necessary because, um, well, first of all, let me tell you what it is. Compression is using only the most relevant information. It's making your your, your file size, your image size, uh, smaller uh, so that you can display it on uh, like Facebook or a website or any anywhere else online and so that you can send it back and forth through emails. Um, Otherwise, uh, if you just took your memory card out of your camera, popped it into your computer, and tried to put it up on Facebook, when it comes off your computer, I mean off your camera, the file is huge, huge. And here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is how you compress an image with GIMP. I'm going to show you. You hit File. Uh, and first of all, if you don't know what GIMP is, let me just tell you really quickly. GIMP is a free open source software program that you can download. Just Google GIMP Windows, and it'll take you uh, to to the exact spot that you need to download it. Um, click the installer package, and then there's like a Swedish or German name after it. I don't know, and then uh, then download it. Okay, and once you get it on your computer, you click it and open it up. And this is what it looks like. And you've got all kinds of really cool tools in here. This thing can do anything that Photoshop can do and more, and it's free. So I highly suggest that you you know, you know get this uh, this program, GIMP, support the open source community. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit File, Open as Layers. Okay, it's going to bring me to, uh, you, know, you can look wherever your image is, that's where you want to go. Uh, I'm already here, so I'm going to click on the image, double click on it, pull it up, uh, wait for it to load here. And as you can see, uh, because it's so huge, it's, you know, just takes a couple seconds. All right, and we are now loaded. Now, you know, nice image, right? Well, I want you to take a look down here. Uh, that says 12.5 percent. Now you're actually only looking at the image at an eighth of a percentage. These, this image is actually, if you look at it at 100 percent, it's huge. See that? If you look up here, it's 2,205 pixels by 3,864 pixels. That is a huge image. If you pulled your memory card out of your camera, stuck it in a USB, put it uh, in your computer and try to upload this to Facebook it will never load. It is, it is entirely too huge. Uh, all that's going to happen is that your um, your little spinning circle is going to go crazy and it's just going to stay there and stay there and stay there. So uh, You have to compress your photos to get them to, uh, to upload right. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to image scale image and that brings us to this little area right here now mine's already set to percent you can uh, scale it by pixels you can scale it by inches you know if you wanted to get your picture down to exactly say four inches by six inches you could do that um, you can do it by millimeters points uh, picas you know uh, I guess there's even more in here. If you click uh, more, you got meters, feet, yards, you know. So what we're going to use is percentage, okay? And um, this should be by default linked up. Uh, see, it is linked right now. And what that does is it keeps your width and your height in proportion, okay? So as you see, if I'm hitting a little down arrow right here, it's keeping it proportioned, right? Now, if I unclick that and hit that little down arrow, notice that only the width is changing right now. Okay. Now that's okay if that's what you want to do, but when you're when you're trying to compress an image, you want the proportions to stay correct. So we're gonna click that and make sure that they're linked up like this right here. Okay. So 
I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to change this image to what was already down here in the first place. GIMP already told me the best uh, percentage to look at this image in and that was 12.5 so that's what I'm going to use okay so if I put 12.5 here and click down here that's close enough that's saying proportionally that's that's where your image is gonna uh, look the best so we'll leave it at that right there make sure that your interpolation is a cubic and hit scale okay and there is your new image at a hundred percent and as you can see the pixels are now only 276 by 503. Big difference from the 2000 and the 3000 pixels, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Save As, and choose the place that you want to keep your, uh, your, your, your photos here. I'm going to put them in the compressed file. And if you notice over here, you can select by file type extension so if I click on this window GIMP is so robust that I can save this image as pretty much anything any kind of format that you could possibly really imagine um, uh, and you can save it as a JPEG it's as a JPEG right now or you can save it as a uh, as a, uh, a, a ping file uh, right here uh, I kinda like ping better because um, well, just for certain format reasons I think uh, it's you know it saves a lot more information, so I'm going to click uh, that uh, PNG, and even though that says JPG right now, I don't even worry about it. It'll save it as a ping. Okay, so I'm going to save that. It's going to pop up and ask me if I want to show preview in image window, and I'm going to click yes because I want to see it as a thumbnail. Leave your quality at 85%. Uh, don't try to change this to 100. It just messes up what GIMP has already perfected, okay? 85% is fine. Uh, and we're going to save, okay? Now, if I go over here and look at my uh, file, there it is. Uh, the image is there, and it is uh, now compressed to 276 pixels by 503. So, you know, even clicking on that and bringing it up, it still looks just fine. So, um, you can save your uh, your huge files for uh, for printing because they're gonna you know you gonna want all that information preserved, but for web pages, uh, Facebook, all that other stuff you want to compress your images. Uh, otherwise, you'll never be able to upload them. So that is how you compress images using GIMP and. Uh, if you like this tutorial, if it was helpful to you, to you then uh, please subscribe and comment. And uh, thanks again for watching The Human Science.